When you open the file menu, the Discover page is shown by default. We'll cover the tabs on the Discover page later. To start a new model, select the new command and then choose a template based on whether you want to create a part or sheet metal model, an assembly, or a drawing. Templates are based on standards, such as ISO or ANSI, and a unit of measure, such as millimeters or inches. When you are licensed to use the Team Center integration for Solid Edge, the user interface displays the Manage tab where you access Team Center functions. When you are ready to print a document, click the Paper Print tab. Or, click the 3D Print tab to produce fast prototypes of your models by printing the active document directly to a locally installed 3D printer. Click Community to open various Solid Edge and Team Center community sites and blogs. You can also email the active document. Use Pack and Go to share a complete set of project documents such as assemblies, subassemblies, drawings, and simulation results. Click Settings to access Solid Edge options and customize the user interface. Use Solid Edge options to set defaults for your new files, as well as your interaction with Solid Edge. On the Helpers tab, you can control what you see when Solid Edge starts. You can also choose a color scheme. Show and hide command tips. Configure predict commands. Control tooltip content. And show and hide the context toolbar. Click customize to change keyboard shortcuts, modify the quick access toolbar, personalize the command ribbon, configure the radial menu, and adjust layout preferences. Because changes made here apply to specific environments, such as part or assembly, you can configure different settings for each. If you would prefer to use a theme other than the default balance theme, you can save your changes to a custom theme. Use the Tools page to perform actions such as comparing drawings and models, and finding and importing components or parts into your models. Click Info to review and update global settings for materials and document properties. The options differ for part, assembly, and draft documents. Finally, click Sign in to access Team Center Share from within Solid Edge. Once you are signed on, you can open a file in Solid Edge from the Team Center Share interface. With Share, you have access to projects, files, tasks, Kanban boards, and more. The ribbon organizes application commands into functional groups, and some application commands are available only in specific environments. These data management commands provide built-in tools to help you manage your documents within Solid Edge. This is especially useful if you are not licensed to use Solid Edge with Team Center, the product data management client. With data management, you can perform instant searches, make simple revisions, and manage your release documents, all without the use of a database. Implementing the data management tools early in your Solid Edge deployment can prevent many future problems. Use the Quick Access Toolbar to specify which commands are available with a single click. You can add commands to the Quick Access Toolbar or you can add an entire command group. Removing commands is just as easy. If you'd like the Quick Access Toolbar closer to your workspace, position it below the ribbon. The Predict Commands Toolbar floats and contains commands you are likely to need based on your current environment and design context. You can also add frequently used commands to the Quick Access Toolbar. You can choose to hide or show the command button text. If you want to locate the command in the ribbon, click Show Me. As you work, the prompt bar displays helpful messages related to the commands being used. Document tabs make it easy to switch between your open document windows and change their order. Right-click a document tab to see commands for creating and closing document windows. 
easily manage a lot of open documents by using the right and left arrow controls, or the scroll wheel on your mouse. You can also quickly locate and select a document from a list of everything open. Pathfinder organizes all the active documents features into a hierarchical view that you can hide and show, as needed. In the part environment, Pathfinder shows ordered and synchronous features, sketches, reference planes, dimensions, and coordinate systems. In other environments, Pathfinder has similar functionality. Pathfinder shows the currently applied material and makes it easy to review and update properties in the material table. Use the context toolbar to quickly select frequently needed commands without having to locate them on the ribbon. The context toolbar is available for ordered part, sheet metal, and assemblies. To redisplay the context toolbar for an object, reselect the object or press Ctrl G. To move the context toolbar to another part of the workspace, click the gripper area and then drag. The commands on the context toolbar vary based on the selection. For example, in this assembly you can select a part of a subassembly and quickly hide them with the context toolbar. The context toolbar displays when you right-click to open the shortcut menu. Commands are available in either the context toolbar or the shortcut menu, but not both. Use Command Finder to search for solid edge commands by name or function. The Command Finder Results panel makes it easy to locate the command in the Solid Edge interface, open related help topics, and even run the command. The Quick View Cube lets you change the current view of your model with a single click. Click Help to view Solid Edge help and training content. For help with a specific command, Hover over the command and press F1 on your keyboard. Additional help resources and the Discovery Center are found on the Discover tab. When you click File, Discovery Center displays by default. Depending on your license, Discovery Center hosts user assistance tools, tutorial videos, and opportunities to start 30-day trials of add-on applications for which you aren't currently licensed. In addition to bookmarking topics of interest, you can filter Discovery Center to show specific topics, including your bookmarks. To start a product trial for an add-on product, click Start Trial, agree to the terms specified in the disclaimer and then complete the sign-in process. Once the trial period starts, a countdown timer lets you know how many days remain. The Start tab is designed to help you start using Solid Edge right away. Its focus is on four fundamental workflows. The Learn tab provides easy access to Solid Edge videos, tutorials, and activities. Solid Edge starts off in normal select mode. Once an element is selected, other selection modes let you choose how you build your selection set. You can select the mode here, or you can press Shift or Control while clicking. To add multiple elements. You can also drag a box around nearby elements to select them with one action. The stack plus and minus next to the cursor signals that you are working in the add remove selection mode. Press the space bar to toggle through the modes. Selection manager mode is helpful when you want to build a selection set with related faces or features. To stop selecting, press Escape, select a different command, or double-click an empty area in the graphics window. Sometimes, the element you want to select is obscured by other overlapping elements. When you pause the cursor over the element, the Quick Pick indicator appears letting you know multiple elements are in the vicinity. Right-click to display Quick Pick. Moving over each item highlights the corresponding element in the model. Click to select the element. In both ordered and synchronous sketch environment, key points are also included in the Quick Pick list. Use the Quick Pick Options dialog box to specify properties such as the maximum number of items to display or whether clicking the left or right mouse buttons displays the Quick Pick list. Once you've selected one or more elements, Solid Edge provides you with a steering Use the steering wheel to move or rotate selected 2D and 3D geometry. 
In this ordered model, the steering wheel is used to define how the face is rotated. In synchronous modeling, the steering wheel works the same way. Docking windows are tool windows that can be combined into a set of tabs located in the default docking pane along the perimeter of the workspace. To view the docking windows as a tab set, pin any of the windows in place or double click the title bar. Use the list button to activate additional docking windows or use the panes command on the view tab. To have a window float in the workspace, drag it or double click. Use either method to return the window to the tab set. To automatically hide a window when not in use, unpin it. When you drag a window, docking stickers display to guide you to eligible locations and to make it easy to customize the arrangement of windows in the workspace. You can also use docking stickers to combine two windows, as separate panes within one window, or as a new tab set. Some of the less frequently used windows can't be docked. Instead, these simply float in the workspace. To learn more about docking windows, please refer to Solid Edge Help. This set of commands controls how your model is viewed in the graphics window. For the zoom area command, click two points to define the zoom area. With the zoom command selected, click, then drag to dynamically zoom in and out. The fit command fits all visible elements into the active view. Press the control key while clicking the fit command to fit elements in the area not covered by the magnetized pathfinder. Use the pan command to position the model where you want it. Use the rotate command to rotate the model about the X, Y or Z axis, or about the view center. Use the sketch view command to orient the active view normal to the locked plane in synchronous environments, or the active sketch plane in ordered environments. Use the view orientation command to change the view orientation of the model. Saving the current view saves current view orientation and zoom level to the name you define. Use the View Styles command to select a view style from a live gallery.